Today's video, we're going to show you Henry's 3-3 nickel defense. Now, 8-1-8 Madden. Obviously, I'm sure he'll have a defensive ebook uh, eventually. Um, this is Henry's defense, and we're just breaking down the film and the tape from the Ultimate Kickoff Tournament. Now, I do have a full 3-3 ebook. I've had it for a couple weeks now in my Patreon um, that goes over very similar blitz. So, just so you know that. Uh, and anyway, want to talk about it. Again, obviously, if you want to get Henry's material, I believe it's at 818madden.com. So this is Henry's 3-3 nickel blitz, and I really wanted to dive deep into why this is, uh, at least in my opinion, the best defense in the game, okay? And so a couple things right off the bat that I want to say. There's been a lot of debate on not, – not necessarily debate, but there's been a lot of conversation on Twitter and on YouTube today that essentially is trying to figure out, number one – how was Henry's blitz so good? What was he actually doing that made it so good? And obviously, how was his coverage so good? Now, the coverage piece of this, I'm going to leave alone for today, in today's video. There are some specific things that he was doing. There also were some things that got this burned over the top, and we're going to show it right here. So this first drive kind of shows us pretty much everything we need to know. Um, so a lot of people have said that he was in cover one robber or cover two man, okay, when he was running this defense. That is not true at all, and uh, I'm going to explain why. So you'll see here, obviously here's the blitz, and then obviously he's made adjustments behind the defense. The one thing I want to point out is pre-snap, if you look at this really quickly, Dubby gets a quick snap. You can tell this because his defense is not set up. So he kind of quick snaps him to a degree or as fast as you can uh, quick snap, and it's what results in a touchdown. So if you think through, what are Henry's adjustments likely to be on this play? Well, if he's just getting started, he's going to stack this guy. He's going to move this guy, right, and have to reman up players. Remanning up players takes a pretty decent amount of time uh, and, 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 and 30 and all that because, again, you got to get your blitz set up. So he gets the blitz set up. Now, uh, if watch the left side here. So you're going to see that we got this linebacker right here. It appears that he's in a, a zone of some type. Okay, I'm not sure what zone. looks like just a basic hook curl. But the thing I want to point out is, number one, look at the depth of the safeties. As you can see, they are 10 yards off the line of scrimmage. That communicates that it is a cover zero coverage, and I'll show that in just a minute in practice mode. The other thing I want you to see is from a stock defensive perspective, no one is guarding the tight end. Okay, Now, he could have re-blitzed this guy, but we'll explain why he didn't. And also, also this guy right here is going to get burned over the top for a touchdown due to the fact that it is cover zero, which is a whole other conversation for another video. Okay. But there you see it. Okay. So that's pretty much everything in the first drive. And then we'll show you an example of the blitz working. I believe it was the second and 10 play. Yeah, it was. So a um, couple things here real quick to point out. These are just little things about film study that I think everyone should know. If you want to study film, Notice where his user's at. Notice how his defense comes out. His user is to the right of the center. You see the defensive linemen are already spread when he comes out of the line of scrimmage. And then at the snap of the ball, look at the pressure here. Obviously, Dubby's doing different adjustments to try to pick this up so it can change and tweak the blitz slightly. Um, but what you're going to see is you're going to get one edge here, one edge here. So for running back blocks, you should get this right side edge. And the other last thing I want to say, watch the defensive tackle at the snap of the ball. Notice he moves slightly to the right. Okay. With all of that context, I want to come over here and explain um, basically how this defense had to be nickel blitz zero, uh, at least in my opinion. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But this is my opinion and um, from what I saw, how he was doing it. So if I come out, uh, I've set a couple different audibles here just to show it uh, at the line of scrimmage. But if I come out and cover one robber, I want to show you what's hap what happens. I'm going to press. I'm pressing. Okay, I'm pressing. Notice these safeties are 15 yards off the line of scrimmage. Now, the only way to get them down is to show blitz. When you show blitz, look what just happened. You see how that guy stood up like that? That is what happens when you show blitz, okay? Um, so we didn't see his guy standing up, and we didn't see him showing blitz. In my opinion, we saw him pressing. The other thing it does is you see how it pinches them in inside a little bit. So it couldn't have been cover one rock. I already know that off the bat, Okay. Um, I've heard some people say that it was uh, cover two man. Couldn't be that either, and I'll show you why. Same basic thing. Press, look at how far back they are. They're about 15 yards 
off of the ball. Okay, so it can't be it can't be cover two man. I'm not saying that cover two man doesn't work for the blitzing concept. I'm saying that's not what he was doing, right? Because um, you can certainly probably get some loop pressure out of that. So it wasn't cover one Robert. It wasn't cover two man. It really leaves two plays, and it is either nickel blitz zero or LB blitz because we know that he was basing it out of a man coverage. I'll explain uh, real briefly why it couldn't have been LB blitz zero by just putting it in the audibles here. Um, where is this at? LB Blitz 1. Okay. So LB Blitz 0, why couldn't it have been this? Two reasons. Um, well, really, one, uh, the defensive linemen right here, they are uh, not spread out. So he would have had, we would have seen him spread his line and press, and he didn't do that. The other thing that we saw was this guy, Stock, was blitzing, and this guy, Stock, was in man coverage on the slot. Okay. So that's another part of it. Um, and, and as to why it was nickel blitz, nickel blitz uh, zero. So if I go to nickel blitz zero, you see here, this is what the defense was. And the main purpose of this defense, two reasons. Number one, it's easier to set up. Number two, the stock blitz angles of the defensive line also uh, contribute to it being this. Because if you watch this real quick, you will notice that Watch this. Watch the defensive lineman. You're going to see at the, at the snap of the ball, I didn't crash my line, didn't do any of that. He's going to take a step to the right, and the blitz is going to work. Okay? So um, now let's explain why it can't be uh, LB blitz one. Can't be LB blitz one because look at the alignment. This guy's backed off. He would have to base the line, and if he base a line to this, it would change. Um, you, would, you would obviously, it would be very obvious. Okay? So it has to be nickel blitz zero. There's no other way to put it. Um, now, why is this blitz so good? And I'm going to explain why I think this is so good. Again, Henry Stuff, 818 Madden. I'm uh, pretty sure he'll have a defense people over there eventually at some point. Um, but basically, here's what you're going to do. You're going to press. You're going to global blitz. You're going to move this guy out. And then what Henry was doing was he was just basically tapping this guy slightly so that if W ever motioned the slot receiver, um, and I'll show you what happens here. But if you ever motion the slot receiver across, notice that slot cornerback doesn't move, which you actually saw in the game, and uh, the blitz is going to, to come in. Now, in practice mode, this blitz, is it does not do this blitz justice. Okay, just, just keep that in mind. Obviously, my user could be bad as well. He might have been doing some, some super specific things with his user that was a little bit hard to see from my end of things. Um, but typically, it's just, you know, hold left trigger and try to, and there you see the, the pressure. What makes this blitz so good is that it can come in against a blocked running back, a blocked tight end, and a blocked running back and tight end. So pretty much any kind of protection that your opponent wants to uh, set up is not going to be 100%. It might pick it up sometimes. It might not pick it up sometimes. A lot of times, you're going to get pressure. Okay, That's the bottom line. We could get into some of the specifics and really nerd out about everything. But I just wanted to uh, kind of go over why. This, this is one of the many reasons why Henry is the best defense player in the game because – not only does he have the best blitzes, he has the best coverage adjustments, he has the best user, um, in my opinion. But the other thing that's really cool about watching Henry play is he does things, just just like little bitty things um, that you might not ever notice that separates him as, as a top-tier player, right? He does a very specific blitz that has a very specific blitz angle to the defensive end. As you can see here, this right side defensive end is a blitz angle is shooting outward. What that does specifically against a formation like Bunch is if they block their tight end, you now have a chance for either an instant B gap or that loop to come around the tight end. And a lot of times we were seeing disengages from the nose tackle. So that's um, you know how Henry ran, ran uh, this blitz, at least from my perspective. Again, um, I would really recommend learning it from his perspective. So if you're not a member of 818 Madden, um, probably a really good time to go be a member because – by far the best defense we saw. By far the best defense we saw. And really every year, Henry probably has, in my opinion, um, especially from a competitive perspective, he has the best defense. He always does. Um, he's, he's really gifted defensively, and uh, he normally has a really good send five pressure and a really good coverage adjustments behind him. So thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this taught you something about Henry's blitz. And again, I really recommend going and checking out 818 as soon as Henry drops that defense. Um, because it will probably make you a much better match.